In today's video, we're going to talk about how to add text to your 3D prints using the sketch tool in Fusion 360. If that sounds like something you want to know, stick around. We're going to jump right in. Okay, here I have one of my pots, and I like to add text to the bottom of all my pots just so I can very quickly know that this is something that I created. So I'm gonna jump down here to the bottom of this pot. And I am going to create a text box. Now, you have a couple options. You have a text or a text on the path. Today, I'm just gonna be doing a simple text box where I can click and drag and my simple text is ba.3d. And this is the font that I use. You can figure out what font you like best. And I do like to set this to a bold, just to give me a little bit more room. I'm gonna jump this up to 10 millimeters and I'm gonna keep my alignment centered and centered in that box. So there is the text. The next step is to align it exactly where I need that, somewhere in there and say finish. Now I'm going to put this into the print and using a simple extrude and I just do a minus 0.25 millimeters and cut that in and say okay. So there, if we zoom in, we'll see that it's just barely cut into this. Should be able to really quickly notice if somebody has stolen my file and trying to sell it. Okay, so there's one way. The next way is to extrude it off this. So I have another one of my designs that I've been working on. This is for a hat holder, it holds five hats. And this one, I just need to add my same information to the top of this. So we are going to create a new sketch and I need to choose where I want that to be. In this case, it's right here. And same process, create text, Grab the box, draw it on, and dot three. And if you notice, the settings came in from the last time I used this, and that's a little bit too big. So we are gonna drop this down to six millimeters. Keep everything centered. Say okay, and then just set this where I need it to be. I've got a green line here that'll help me get it nice and centered. And from there, uh, I feel like we come up a little bit somewhere right there and finish this sketch. Same process, we're just gonna go the other direction with it. We're gonna pull it off the print. So I'm gonna select this and we'll pull it off one millimeter and say, uh, make sure this is join and not into a new body and we'll say, okay. And there you can have it sticking up and I can treat this and clean this up just like I would any other part of this. Uh, if I want to come down here and select these I can smooth them out a little bit. Uh, maybe we come down point two. Should work, there we go. And say, okay, now I've cleaned those up a little bit. Looks a little more like it's supposed to be there and not just sticking out with sharp edges. And I like that. Now, the last thing you wanna do, or I guess the last option that we have is we can just add text into an open space. So by selecting, creating another sketch, I'm going to zoom out. We're going to do this on top plane. And I'm going to, again, hit create text, draw this text box in. And one more time, add that in. And let's, let's say I wanted to create something for maybe like a desk and just do it this way. So I'm going to set this to one inch. So We'll go 24 millimeters, which is about an inch. The next step is to figure out how far apart if I wanna move these. So in my case, I do wanna push them apart a little bit. I'm gonna come down and bump it down to five millimeters. We'll see what that looks like. See if that stretches it out a little bit. Should have moved it just a little bit. That looks pretty good. Uh, and say, okay. Now I've got this space here. Again, same principle, finish sketch. We're gonna grab this and do a simple pull on it. And I'm gonna make this a one inch by one inch, so it'll be 24. And we are going to create a new body and say, okay. So there's that new body. Um, 
and I should be able to individually select these objects over here. They're all their own bodies now. And by selecting that, I can now square this up a little bit. I can now right click and say, move. And I can pull this in until there's an overlap. And say, okay. And now we've got a little bit of an overlap there. Select these two objects and I can combine them. And now I've got that there. And I'm gonna do the same for this one. And this one. And say okay. And finally I'm gonna grab the D and move this one in there. And I'm gonna try to connect it on both top and bottom and say, okay. Now I've got these connected and we are going to just combine all these into one body, just like that. Say, okay. And there you have it. I have something that I could print out and they will all stick together that I could use. You can overlap them as much or as little as you need that you feel like they would stay in place. As always, thanks for sticking around. If you liked what you saw, please consider following this channel to help us as we continue to grow, as well as share this with anybody you think might be interested. Thanks again. We'll see you next time. Uh, uh, uh.